Hi all. Today we will see how to read a JSON file and extract portion of the data out of the JSON file structure. So for that, first we will go through the sample uh, JSON file. So in this JSON file we are having a store object within which we are having book. And inside book we are having category, author, title and price with five columns and their corresponding so in today's tutorial we will try to extract category author and title from this file and load into a dummy target so for that we will so we already created a transformation for reading and json input so before that i will just show you how to input This is my JSON input uh, transformation. So here you can give a name to your step JSON input. So in the file directory, we will browse the file JSON file which we are having. So this is my JSON input file. So select the path and add. So this will get added to your transformation. You can see the file name. You can show. The content. There is no need to change anything. For fields. So first we'll need a category. We will read author. And then we will read title. So path to get the attributes first you need to add dollar dollar name of the field category. Similarly author and title so the type of your input it is string so you can choose string type We don't want to repeat any value. So, so this is your input JSON transformation, which is ready to be used. So we'll see all the attributes. And what all attributes we need to extract. From the file and the for format, how we need to do that. And this is done. We'll save. You can see. So you can see the yes, title. Category and other these three attributes were populated and data for regarding which was loaded into a target. Demo. This is the one which we just created where we read category, author, and title. Other you can uh, do many operations on this JSON input file where you, you can uh, do your uh, ETL log or business transformation using other. JSON input file using JSON transformation step. This is a simple one. We just uh, extracted few and their respective values. Next tutorial we will see how to use the output transformation step.
थैंक यू